Hi, it's Nick from UK Gardening. Um, it's now the middle of May. We're getting well on uh, the back end of uh, spring, early summer. It's perhaps a little bit too late to divide the uh, hardy perennials. Um, but my daughter's actually got a plant sale table at the summer fair. So I just need to produce some more plants. Uh, the, the only danger really of, of splitting them too late is you might lose uh, early flowering. So I'm going to take this strontia and divide it up. It's, um, it's normally done towards the end of March, early April, just as it's starting to uh, come into growth. It depends, obviously, uh, if, you, if you're growing outside, then uh, now is the perfect time to lift it and divide it. But these have been kept in the greenhouse over winter. Um, I bought them uh, last summer, kept them in the pot uh, that I just dropped into the border. So I'm going to divide them now, and I'll just show you what I do. If the first thing I want to do is just knock it out of the pot. I have actually had this out of the pot. Um, so just take that out of the pot. I have, a, as I say, I've had this out of the pot and I was just picking off some of this moss and some of the, the uh, growth around the top. Have a look out for wood lice and uh, any slugs and obviously get rid of them. Uh, just pick out this moss. And if you, if you can look in here, you can see that where it's, we'll probably get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plants out of this. So what I'm going to do is actually just dig my fingers in and pull and see if I can stretch it, stretch the root out. This might actually be done better with a spade. There we go, pull that off there. Again, check the Check the roots, that's a millipede, so that's all right. And then this one here, you can see there's two definite plants there. This is, uh, as I say, it's a strantia, it's also known as Hattie's pincushion. It's a clump forming hardy perennial, so it can be outside all year. And I'm just going to divide that there. You see that they're a nice stocky little plants. And they're not too big. Now I'll just take off some of that excessive root. Now what I want to do is actually get a reasonably large pot. I was going to put it in, in that pot but I'll put it in a, a larger pot. There we go, we have a pot. It's not going to be in there for long actually. Okay, let me just get another bigger pot. Right, got to be a bit of a bigger pot here. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to suspend that into the, in the pot, have the stem at the same level as it was growing, and then just backfill the pot. This is actually just a mixture of um, compost, out of the compost heap, a little bit of spent compost, out of the baskets and a bit of multi-purpose compost out of some of the pots that I've been potting on. There we go, firm that down all around, give it a tap. You want to create a little bit of a ledge, uh, ledge a little bit of a recess so that water actually can sit, sit in there before draining down. And that's, that's one. Now, if I get another pot, stand them in there. This one, you can go, I could probably take that one out of, that one off of there and have a small one. As long as it's got a stem and a bit of root. So again, suspend that one in there. Backfill it, give it a bit of a shake if it's going in. And it's got to be at the same planting depth. If you're doing this outside, you can obviously just um, put them in, back in the board, dig a hole, put some uh, compost in the in the planting hole, and backfill it. Now they need a good water. I'll take them outside. I'll give them a good water. Put the uh, plant labels on, and um, then I can uh, get back and take some more out of here. Now the other thing I'm going to do is. I'll do the rest of those in a minute. The other plant I've got is, this is a Echinacea, Echinacea purpurea, I think. 
uh, Echinacea purpurea sunseeker white. Um, this is a lovely white um, Echinacea. It flowers quite late on in the um, in in summer. You can see there's a couple of flowers here. Um, it will start flowering from middle of June all the way through until pretty much the first frost. Um, so with the with these flowers, I may actually lose these flowers, um, but as I said before, I, I need some more plants. So uh, at the uh, the possible loss of those flowers, I'm going to knock this one out of the pot. And I haven't actually had this one out before, but you can see there's a, a wood louse there, and there's a slug. I think I saw a slug. There was a slug on the bottom here. He's probably gone in the compost now. No, I can't find it. You can see that there's some nice root growth here. The first thing I'm going to do is actually get rid of some of this. These dead leaves so I can see what's going on. Again, I've got quite a few plants in here, so I'm just going to rip it apart. As I say, you can do it with a with a spade, but I'm ripping it apart. You can actually see what you're actually tearing. The spade can be a bit a bit too heavy-handed. Do. The spade would be good, uh, but it's a bit heavy handed, so I've, what I've got is I've got my pruning knife here. I'm just going to try and work out what's going on where and see if I can cut it apart. If you've got a pruning saw, that's it could be good, but as I say, the pruning knife there, you can see I've, I've cut through the original stem there. I'm going to cut in between those two as well, without cutting myself. And then what we've got is we've got a small plant with some roots. And tear off some of that. I want a small pot. This is a 13 centimetre pot. Let's put that out there. And the same principle. We'll um, dangle that in there. Back fill with compost. Firming it down all around, make sure it's nice and sitting nice and square in there. That's one. This little one here, just take off some of that excess root. I could get. Yeah, no, I, I was going to say I could get two from that, but I won't be too greedy. I can always split them in the, in the autumn when they've got, got bigger or early spring next year. As I've said, uh, my daughter's going to be selling these, hopefully at the, the local summer fete or fair. That's another one. So that's two. Get rid of these bits of root. Um, A 
be three and four. There's five, and I'll probably split that one in two. And let's actually come out as more. I've probably cut a bit too much off of that one, more than I really want. But it's got a little bit of root on it, so I'm going to plant that up and see what happens. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, as I say, I'm going to give these a good water. Uh, they can stay outside. The, the nighttime temperature at the moment in the greenhouse is about 6 degrees. As I say, it's mid-May. Uh, we might get a frost, so keep an eye on, uh, on the weather. Uh, they they should be alright, they are hardy perennials so they should be out uh, alright but um, yeah if you do know that there's a frost coming just, just put them somewhere sheltered, a little bit more sheltered. Um, that's about it, thanks very much, if you've got any questions post them below.